Okay, today is the day that I take my Tesla in to get the battery swapped out for a brand new one. So I figured since I'd be saying goodbye to the current one that needs replacement, I should do a couple of tests just to see what the condition of the battery is in. So I've done a couple of things. Number one, um, I've downloaded TM Spy, and I'll put all these links in, in the video description uh, so you can do this on your own if you want to. I've also purchased a uh, dongle, where is it? A dongle, um, also link in video description, so I can connect to the OBD2 port to get a little bit additional insight into the health of the battery. That Tesla doesn't really do a good job at showing owners to date. And by the way, if there's someone from Tesla watching this, it would be super helpful and valuable to have some of these diagnostics of the health of the battery and in just in general of the car uh, on the 17 inch touchscreen uh, so, so that we can keep an eye on how the battery is performing and how the car is performing in general. So let's go ahead and plug the OBD2 dongle in and um, I, I've got the TM Spy app downloaded to my phone and we'll be able to look at some of the diagnostics. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to, oh, of course, I've, I've got a little cubby here, so I'm going to pull that out. And then you want to pull this down. Don't worry about breaking it. It's just got a, a few metal clips there. And inside, there will be a cable. Now, this is the cable that uh, I will plug the dongle into. Um, Click. Okay, so at the end of this dongle is is a Bluetooth receiver, and that's going to transmit the data from the car to uh, TM Spy. Let's go ahead and open that up on the phone. What we see here at the top is um, pack. Uh, Fifty-five point two is is what I have available on this battery pack. It's a 60 kilowatt hour pack uh, remaining uh, in terms of how much is available for me to use to, to, to drive is 53.9. You can see the mileage. You can also see the lifetime discharge and charge of the battery in kilowatt hours. So what I don't know is in terms of the, the pack availability, what was the, the pack availability when this car was brand new? I'll also, when I get the new battery, go ahead and connect to the battery in the car and, and see what it says with a brand new battery pack. So it also shows some interesting uh, insight into temperature of the battery pack right now. Uh, the max is 94.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The min is 92. 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit. It also goes through things like uh, pack power as you're driving. It will measure uh, pack uh, power. Uh, you've got voltage histogram, which shows uh, voltage. And then this is this is the battery pack as a whole. Now, what I'm not certain of is d does this look at my battery pack mean that it's healthy? Not healthy. I'm guessing not healthy since Tesla th says that it needs to be replaced. But this is a real-time look at the battery pack. So the next thing I want to test out is the horsepower and the 0 to 60 in this battery pack and compare it to the new battery pack. And for this one, I'm using a mobile app, an iPhone app called Power Tools, and it connects directly to the car and takes data directly from it. So let's go ahead and give that a try. The last time I tested this, which was a while ago, was 302 horsepower and five point. Okay, this is a little bit better. Oh my gosh, it's tons better. Okay, that's okay. That's more like it. 5.7 seconds, 297 horsepower. All right, that wraps up this video. I hope you found it interesting and insightful. I'd be curious to know if any of those watching have used these two apps to get additional insight into their car and the health of the battery and performance. 
In the next installment of this video series of how long the lifespan of a Tesla battery is, I'm going to run the diagnostics on the new battery that Tesla has installed in my car, look at the 0 to 60 time, the horsepower, as well as how much range I've got in the new battery, and comparing the old battery's millivolts versus the new one, and see if we can identify why Tesla thought it necessary to replace the old battery pack. Now, the question that I have for you is, do you think Tesla installed a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, or do you think they software downgraded it to the 60 kilowatt hour pack to make it comparable to the one that I had before? Sound off in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next video.